Hey guys, what's up? Retro Mikey 78 here, and today I've got some random pickup videos. Um, there's gonna be an assortment of pickup videos coming out here in the next couple days, so um, try to break them down into smaller videos so all you guys get to see everything. And hey, you can check out which ones you want. But these are random department store pickups. Um, got a couple different stores that we went to, picked up one or two items at every store. So before we sit back and enjoy this, don't forget, leave me a like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. All right, let's get started. Um, in no particular order did I buy any of this stuff, but it just going to go by store by store. So um, we have these local stores here. Don't know if you guys got them in your area. It's called Gordman's, and my wife wanted to go in and look at clothes. Well, a lot of the stuff you guys see my game room tour in the Marvel hallway. A lot of the stuff has came from that store. And while we were there, we decided to pick up this Avengers sign. Thought it was cool. Um, it was ten bucks. I've already got a spot where we're gonna move a Marvel banner that's right above my door up. And put this under it so it says Marvel Avengers. That'll be kind of cool looking. The next thing I picked up there was another sign. We not, we're not too sure where we're going to put this one at. But me and my wife both like this one. Iron Man, Spider-Man, Hulk, Captain Thor on it. Again, it was $10. Wasn't much. So we decided to pick it up. Put it up there. I do like finding these out in the wild. I find them a lot at yard sales. But... Every time I go in that store, the stuff's not too expensive. So, like, eh, let's see what we find. All right. Next up, we have a few games. Uh, got two I picked up at two different times at GameStop. One of them I've had for about, I've had it since release day. <laughs> and um, the other one, we picked it up this weekend. So, I've got Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm getting ready to do a review on this. I know it's kind of late, but I still want to do a review. I um, Last week when I had the flu on the, during the weekend, I was actually sick Halloween night all the way through Saturday. So I had this game and I pretty much played it the entire time I had the flu and I've already beat it on single player. But now me and my wife, we're going to go through co-op op soon. So as soon as we do the co-op, I'll probably do a review or some type of stream or something on this. And I set that one up for you guys. It's a nice game. It, it's a wonderful game. If you guys haven't bought that yet and you own a Switch, that is a must buy. It, it, it's an awesome game. I will tell you that. Then um, I've had this game in the past on the Wii. And I think I've had it on the 360. But I wanted the new updated version. So I bought the Ghostbusters video game at a GameStop. We were just in there checking things for other prices. And I saw this. I was like, I've got to get this. You know, actually what I was in there looking for when I bought that was um, Voyage of the Dead. It's a new um, light gun game that was supposed to have came out for the Xbox One. They had Voyage of the Dead, a Mars, like a Martian game, and then another one, I don't remember what it was. Oh, a hunting game. And they were all due out the 8th of um, November. And I this was a week ago that I saw that. I went in there today and now it says it's 2020. The guy at GameStop says that even though Amazon is selling them, he says that they were supposed to sell them and they pushed it back, which means the game wasn't finished and it has a lot of bugs. And that's what I'm reading from reviewers off Amazon, that the game is flawed right now. So I'm hoping because I love light gun games that it goes back into beta testing. They fix the problems and it comes out because... Voyage of the Dead, look it up, looks like a good game. So when it comes out, I will be getting it. Next up, uh, we went to Best Buy. I picked up, I know it's a digital copy, but it has a case. But I just wanted to play it for $15. James Pond, code name um, Robocod, has a couple different, um, no, it just has the one game in it. But still, for $15, I was going to pick it up, had a case to put on my shelf. Um, haven't opened it to try it and just got this last night. I, I did, just want to open it and try it. We also picked up two more Amiibos that we needed that we didn't have for the collection. They were on sale. Picked up Sulk and Robin. 
Um, my wife likes playing with these when we play Smash, so. We actually haven't played Smash in a while, though. Yeah. I like Lucina. Yep, we got Lucina for you, though. And like I said, I don't keep these sealed. Unless it's something that I want to keep sealed. Right. I got a few other ones up there that are sealed. But don't need these sealed, so do you guys like a closer look and let you see what they look like? I mean, that's nice. But yeah, these are just two that we decided to pick up while we were there. Honestly, without the bo box, uh, I got, I'd rather think this is Robin and that one was Salk, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, got those. Um, I've been, th this was a game that I wanted, came out right before the strike, and April told me no because we were saving money at that time. And I've been um, whining and complaining and actually trying to find it since we got back to work. Finally, I ordered it off Amazon, and they had it to us in less than 24 hours. But I have Wreckfest, the Deluxe Edition. I got it right before the stream last night. So I haven't had a chance to play it. You know, I got up this morning. I'm shooting this video. And this was an awesome... This looks like an awesome game. I, I, I can't wait to play it. Um, I love demolition derby style games, racing games like that. And even have tractor demolition derby and mini games in it. So I can't wait to play that. Then the last thing, it's not really video game related, but I do collect comics every once in a while. This is the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Deluxe Edition. Um, I've not opened it yet. I'm debating on whether or not I will open it because I have this in a paperback form. This is just the hardback. But I love this series of comic books. I've been collecting this series. I've got all the original issues. I've got the paperback, and now I've got the hardback. It's just one of my favorite. I've got the movie on digital and on regular copy, which is really an unusual for me. So, like I said, this was random department store vi video pickup. So that's all I got in this little video. So remember, I always got that $25 digital code giveaway going on until November 20th. For those of you who are watching it now. Um, link will be down below. The winner gets to pick between Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. So, thanks for watching Retro Mikey 78, and there's plenty more pickups to come in from this.